So let's switch and talk ETFs and Van Eck is releasing three new ETFs to conquer some of investing's more interesting problems like clean energy and rotation to value. So what's in it for you? Damon Gosen joins us now from Van Eck to discuss. Good morning. So what Good new morning. ETFs are on the horizon for us to have a look at? Yeah, so we're really excited. We've got three new listings this week, actually t tomorrow. Uh, so we're, we're listing an Australian first in that it's a first uh, clean energy exposure. So CLNE, which will be our Van Eck Vectors Global Clean Energy ETF. Uh, we're also listing two broader international equities products. One um, following on the success of our international quality being uh, an international quality small cap or QSML. And the other, like you say, the, the, the switch to value seems to be on. And so we're really excited to list VLUE, which is our Vanek Vectors MSCI International Value ETF. Let's, uh, let's go and talk that International Value ETF. Tell us about the structure. Whereabouts is it located when it comes to the, uh, the proponentry of each, each area around the world? Where, do you, where is it mostly tied to? Well, it is, it is a broad global equities product. So you're, 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 it is developed markets. We see plenty of uh, US, plenty of uh, Europe and, and Japan sitting under the hood. Um, one, one of the really key points, so let, let me talk through how it's structured because it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting index approach. So uh, what it provides exposure to will be 250 securities that um, stack up really, really favorably when it comes to uh, several value metrics. And so they, they are priced earnings. Uh, price, to, price to forward earnings, price to book, and um, enterprise value to cash flow from operations. So they're the three metrics that enable it to focus in on the, the 250 really attractively priced securities. One of the, and, and I'm sure a lot of your listeners will be well aware of value traps. One of the things with this ETF, which is very interesting, is it's, it's sector neutral. So it's taking a taking still a broad global equity sector um, bench, bench uh, a, a approach, um, which gives it exposure to all sectors across the market, all region, regions across the market as well. Um, it's just that a lot of the names that sit under the hood will be uh, a little bit different to, I guess, being being led by the, the, the FANGs and Microsoft, which really, I guess, um, are, are skewed heavily in most global equity indexes these days. And so I, think I was interested in the small companies. What sort of small companies are underlying that ETF? Well, they're not really... Um, so they're certainly not tiny stocks. So in, in, in some respects, for uh, compared to a lot of Australian uh, equities on the market, these are these are decent sized businesses. In, in a global context, however, um, they do fill out that, I guess, tail end of um, the thousands upon thousands of securities uh, globally. So there's, there's about 4,000 securities within MSCI's international small cap market. The, the average market cap within there is about one and a half billion dollars. Um, what um, what the whole uh, QSML theme thematic is about, from our perspective, is look we're well into a well into a uh, economic recovery, and, and what we know is small cap stocks tend to do well, tend to outperform their large cap counterparts during that um, that period, and so um, inevitably the risks go up when you're investing in small cap stocks, which is why it's important to have the kind of quality. Uh, quality overlay over it. So targeting companies from within that 4,000 stock universe that um, stack up really attractively when it comes to return on equity, um, earning stability, financial leverage to, to narrow the portfolio down into 150 names um, across that global small cap um, market. Well, terrific. We, as you know, our listeners love ETFs. So new products to market is always very welcome. So thank you, Damon Gozen from Van Eck for thank running the thank rundown. Thank, thanks for having me. I, I probably should also say that um, given these are new products and there's a heap of information on our, on our website, um, we would always encourage investors to look at the PDS, talk to their advisor before making any kind of investment decision as well. Very